Anyway, joining us now at the Inside Scoop, Congressman Steve Scalise, House Republican Whip, member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Uh, as always, Steve, welcome to the program. We appreciate it very, very much. I just want to have a little nip here. This um, report that we're getting that the Senate parliamentarian will rule out uh, IRS revenues from more agents, you know, the old story, running around chasing waitresses, trying to get them to pay taxes on their tips. Now, the interesting thing that I know I see you shaking your head. You're right. It's futile. <laughs> but the great part about this was this was originally scored by the Biden people as $800 billion to pay for their utopian infrastructure package. Now, if you take that out, that's a pretty big chunk, $800 billion. Yeah, Larry, that's the kind of economics they produce. Like, my phones are ringing off the hook of people calling, going, if only we had more IRS agents. You know, that, <laughs> that and more meter maids in our downtown cities are what people <laughs> beg us to do. My God, I mean, how out of touch is Joe Biden when that's what he thinks is job creation? You know, how about you help businesses get back up and running? Every small business in our communities are looking for workers, and Joe Biden is paying people not to work. Eight million jobs going unfilled. Uh, look, you were you were there in the White House when we did maybe the, one of the most uh, powerful pieces of legislation to help families to rebuild our middle class, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, and they want to destroy that. They want to literally put a new tax on, on low-income jobs because those will be the first jobs to go, as you know, if we raise taxes. I hope we don't. We're fighting uh, to, to prevent Joe Biden from raising taxes, but that's what he wants to do, raise taxes on hardworking families and hire more IRS agents in Washington. Yeah, wow. I just love that. I, by the way, in my time, Steve, uh, which goes back a ways, this has been tried so many times by presidents who are looking for revenues to finance, you know, pho phony bookkeeping uh, to finance uh, some worthless project or whatever. But I do want to ask you, um, talking to some people, friends of ours, I must say, you know them as well as I do, and reading the reports, it doesn't really sound like this infrastructure bipartisan compromise is really going any place you got a bunch of left-wing democrats i read who are now saying let's stop the talking to the republicans and just get on with it so what do you think what are you hearing your ears to the ground yeah larry you know joe biden talked about unity a lot during the campaign uh, he's yet to follow through on that he's not done anything to work with republicans in an earnest way uh, to get things done but look we're working on our own plan that actually has been based on many bipartisan negotiations in the past to do real infrastructure. And I'm talking about roads, bridges, ports, seaways, and broadband, and to fully pay for it without tax increases. You can actually do that. And oh, by the way, you need a reform, and you know this too, you need to reform some of these environmental regulations, the Endangered Species Act, NEPA laws, things that drag projects that should take two years to out to 10 years. It makes a lot of infrastructure projects impossible just dealing with the red tape. Reform that too. And if you do that, you could get a bipartisan deal. You talk about raising taxes, uh, unionizing home health care workers and calling that infrastructure. Count me out. And frankly, I think there are a lot more Democrats that realize Pelosi's already made them walk the plank on a lot of really radical socialist votes so far. Uh, I think we're going to win the House back regardless, but I think they're running out of an ability to drag Democrats into so many more bad votes. Right now, they don't have the votes to raise taxes. We're trying to work hard to ensure they, they're not able to get that done. The red line, the red line under the tax hikes uh, is very important, really important. Uh, I've heard Kevin say it. I've heard Mitch say it. To me, that's just really important. Steve Scalise, w before I lose you, I want to ask you about another thing which astonishes me. After saying, the Biden administration, after saying that they would keep the sanctions on the Russian pipeline, Nord Stream 2 in this case, which, I mean, I did a lot of work on this with Mnuchin and Briette and other people. We had an yeah. executive order to sanction anybody. There's still 99 miles left, so the thing was stoppable. We don't want Russia to run all of Europe, do we? Um, now the talk is they're going to lift the sanctions and they're going to let the pipeline be finished. Steve Scalise, I, I just think that, was, say it's not so. Why are we switching gears like this? <laughs> Larry, this is where people across the country are scratching their heads. They're going, wait a minute. Joe Biden walks in on day one and kills the Keystone Pipeline. These are American jobs, American energy. Oh, and by the way, our friend Canada bringing their oil to America to refine it, which, by the way, we have the best standards in the world. If you're going to refine oil anywhere, refine it in America. He kills that. And then he says, OK, but we're going to let Russia 
have a green light and waive sanctions to have this pipeline between Germany and Russia. So he says no to American jobs and partner partnering with our good friend Canada, but he says yes to giving a blank check to Russia. I thought this guy was supposed to be standing up to Russia. He li literally just gave the keys of the store to Russia, giving them more leverage, by the way, on energy policy. When Russia has ev energy leverage, they actually use it against American values, hurting our allies around the world. Uh, when you were there, we were actually exporting energy to our friends around the world, undermining Russia, taking away Russia and OPEC's leverage, and Joe Biden gave that away. He also wants to give away our intellectual property on the vaccine. He literally wants to give the American vaccine that we created with Operation Warp Speed uh, for COVID to China, mm. giving away our intellectual property. China steals our intellectual property. That was already a problem. Joe Biden's just going to say, why bother letting him steal it? He's trying to give it away to them. This is psychotic, and it's got to stop, Larry. You know, Steve Scalise, one other point on this. Um, the Biden State Department is saying that they're lifting sanctions. It's like they don't really want to lift them, but they're going to lift them because they want to keep the relationship going with Germany. But I got to tell you, I mean, I was involved in these negotiations for quite some time. Europe, the European Union, disagrees with Germany. This is one of the rare cases where the EU agreed with the U.S. against Germany and against Russia. So I don't know who they think they're currying favor with, except perhaps you're right that it's basically a pro-Russian move, which is, a, you know, on its face, uh, prima facie stupid. But that, yeah. the, Europe how doesn't want this. Germany Europe does not American want this. Oil. Yeah, how about we sell Germany American energy? Right. Uh, it's lower emissions, by the way, because I thought it was all about climate change and global warming. We emit a whole, whole lot less carbon when we make and, and refine oil in America versus when it's produced and refined in Russia. Uh, he, it's unbelievable that they're doing this and they think nobody's going to pay attention. People are scratching their heads, but they're paying attention and they don't like it. LNG, Steve, you know, LNG, we could get it out there, transportation and all, six bucks and compete with Russia. Anyway, the producers yeah, and are And we won't have lines at, at the pump and, and paying 20, 30 percent more at the pump either. Right. Let's end this madness. All right. Great soon. being with you, Larry. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll reconvene this discussion very soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Leader. I